Hello everyone. So in continuation to previous uh, service norm best practices video, uh, we will continue discussing about uh, service norm best practices in this video as well. So the next thing is uh, UI use UI policy instead of client script to set field attributes. So basically uh, we get multiple times uh, requirement like we need to set this field mandatory or visible or read only all those things we need to do that so for that it is always good to use uh, ui policies instead of client script so when possible consider using a ui policy to set field attributes to make mandatory read only or visible in ui policy no scripting is required to set field attributes okay so it is always good uh, to use ui policy instead of client script in certain case when uh, it is not achievable from client ui policies then yes we can go ahead and use the client scripts next uh, restrict the list editing so with the exception of on cell edit client script okay UI policies and client script apply only on forms. So basically when we are writing a UI policy or client script that only applies on form except the on cell edit client script. So on cell edit client script works on list view as well. So if you create a UI policy or a client script for field on a form, you must use another method to ensure that data in those fields is similarly controlled in a list view so let's say you your client gave you requirement or your business gives you a requirement that uh, xyz field on the form should be uh, read only or it shouldn't be editable for certain users something like that so let's say you have written a ui policy or a client script that ui policy or a client script will be restricting that data addition or new data on the form but user can edit that through list view so we should always consider uh, that aspect uh, before implementing these kind of requirement so the proper control should be in place at the list view level as well you can use uh, below options to do that uh, basically in disabling the list editing uh, disable the list editing for a table you can do that then create appropriate business rule or access control for the list editing then create data policies or create a separate on cell client script to disable the list editing next thing is uh, it is always good to minimize the server lookups so client script uses either data available on client or data Reported from the server. So use client data as much as possible to eliminate the need of time consuming server lookups. And if you require uh, to look at the server side data, uh, always use the recommended method like Glide Ajax. Or if you are using like uh, get reference, then try to use Callbex. So these are the practices you should follow if you need to look for the server data then g scratch pad and gs uh, asynchronous glide ajax so it is always recommended when you need as i said in tbs point you need to get the server side data try to use g scratch pad or asynchronous glide ajax for the server side data from the client next is the avoid global client script so a global client script is any client script where the selected table is as global so global client script had no table restriction therefore they will load on every page in the system introducing browser load and delay in the process thank you for watching the video i will be back with the next video